Hello and welcome to Dee Dee Blooms. This video is a care collab video on the Ancelia Africana. Let's see, I have a, actually an Ancelia Gigantia Nels Pruitt crossed with Ancelia Gigantia Dark Warrior. Got this from Sunset Valley Orchids, I'm gonna say about four months ago or so, maybe five now and it's been growing outside here on my patio along with a number of other orchids I have around here on this lattice work. It's got quite the, the little baby spider population going and I don't like to disturb that. It's not spider mites, which we don't want spider mites. So I'm just gonna talk you through my young Ancelia orchid here, how I grow it and I will be one of a number of channels that puts together a video on how they are growing and carrying this type of orchid. Uh, care collabs are so unique in that you can go and watch all the other videos. I'll have those linked in my video description. Uh, so you can connect to those channels videos and compare notes, see which ones apply to you and your, your growing conditions. And I just learned so much from watching all the different growing methods and tips that people have. Um, it's a really great series put, put together. Uh, Nina Ninja Orchids is organizing this particular one. So if you're interested in joining, if you put out YouTube content and grow orchids, um, let Nina know and she'll uh, get you signed up. So this one, again, I've had it only for about four to five months and um, it's not done too much. It's grown a little taller and it's put out a couple of new growths. Um, let's see, this is one of the new growths right here and then there's another one uh, right here. Sorry, I don't have enough fingers right here. Uh, it seems to be doing rather well with the summertime the temperatures are getting up higher so I've been watering more often uh, when the temperatures were cooler it was just maybe once a week now I try to give it a little drink a couple times a week uh, I love the little uh, dark colors on the edges of the pseudobulb leaves uh, kind of crisscross along the whole of it um, this can get grow into a rather large plant and someday it's going to be in a rather large pot and hopefully I will do justice for it and it will grow into specimen size. Um, I fertilize a couple times a month and it's out here it's shaded shaded from most of the sun but this is the east going this way and so it gets eastern morning sun kind of filtered through this Aussie den that I have here. And then the sun moves this way to the west. And so it'll get little sprinklings of sun and it's been pretty happy. Um, so it's outside all year long. It has experienced temperatures down into the 40s and now it's been experiencing up into the 90s. So it's pretty hardy. Um, and that's about it. Uh, I plan on repotting this when it starts getting bigger in its pot and go from there. Um, and I haven't repotted it from, from the nursery pot, so it's in a little bark mix. There might be some moss down in there. So if you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments. And I hope you check out everyone else's videos for the Care Collab. And thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day.